Uh, my advice for a young band is um, don't expect too much too soon. Um, don't be pricey. Um, you know, you you uh, you need to be out there. You'll learn best. You'll develop most just by doing gigs and by performing, and you'll gauge reaction from the audience. You will know what works and you know what doesn't work. Uh, you know, play for free if you have to, until you get a following, and a fa you know a real following, not just your people who, are, not just your uh, family and friends. You know? uh, understand from a venue's perspective as well. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, if a venue is not going to make a return on their investment, uh, they're not going to. They probably are, are not going to book you. So, it doesn't matter if you don't earn much for six months or for a year. No, you're still learning, you're developing. You know? And it's important that you get yourself out there. Uh, and be original. Um, sometimes it won't work, it doesn't matter how crazy your ideas are. In fact, the more crazy they are, the better. Simply because someone hasn't done it, that's no reason to not do it. That's more reason to do it. If you have a crazy idea in the rehearsal studio, uh, stick, stick with it. You know, it might fall flat or it might not. You know, people might get it eventually. But don't be afraid to branch out and try something new. You know, you can be, sure you can be influenced. You can take influences from other artists. So every artist is influenced by something that's gone before. You know, and, every, and anything that sounds, a lot of music that sounds kind of normal, acceptable now, when it was originally, it was quite outrageous. Like Duke Ellington in the 20s came out with this uh, completely crazy music like uh, Charlie Parker and the bebop thing that was unheard of. Um, a lot of the psychedelic stuff in the 60s with Pink, Pink Floyd and... Um, uh, <clears throat> that was completely refreshing and new. Uh, Afrobeat with Bella Kuti. You know? All this stuff is quite familiar now. Um, but try and, find, try and find your own path as much as you can. To actually get people, drag people away from their, their computer or from their bedrooms or whatever, I think you have to offer more. You have to offer more than what they can simply get just watching on the video. You know, um, so what I've noticed, if, the, if, you can, uh, if you can put on a spectacle, if you can engage with the audience, and if you look like you've taken a trouble, you can put on a show, even if you have some choreographed moves, uh, then you've got the attention. Then they, the audience could be far more receptive to the music you play. And if the audience are more receptive to, to the music you play, you respond better and you play better, you know, and you develop. Um, but I've always been drawn to bands who actually put on a stage show, and I've seen how people respond better. Uh, you have groups like Sharon Funk, um, Swaratma, um, Scarvengers, happen to be my band, get, get everyone wearing suits dance on stage uh and it's you know it translates transfers to the audience you know? i think it's it's very very important you know th there is there is a school of thinking is like yeah man look, i don't need to dress up the the music speaks for itself you know i don't need this kind of gimmick you know, music is good enough it's not good enough you know don't assume not everyone is a music snob you know they want to be entertained and they want to be entertained by seeing a show you know um uh, it's like theatre, you know, a little bit. 